Well, hello, church. My name is Corey. I'm one of the pastors here, and I have the great privilege alongside my wife of leading Open, our young adults community here at Calvary Chapel Costa Mesa. And as a church body, we have been reflecting on the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. As we look forward to Easter weekend, we've been covering different topics in light of the truth and the story of Jesus' sacrifice for us. And today I wanna share with you a reflection on friendship in light of the Lamb. Friendship is one of the most amazing, fulfilling parts about our life, not just as followers of Christ, but as humans. We desire that kinship, that fellowship with people that we love. And I can imagine for most of you, like myself, some of the greatest memories we have of friendships is sitting around a table together and just having conversation. And this is what is happening uh, in John chapter 15 as Jesus is sharing this Passover meal with his disciples. John 15 verse 12 says this, Now my command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, and to lay down one's life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command. And I no longer call you servants because a servant does not know his master's business. Instead, I have called you friends. For everything that I learned from my father, I have made known to you. And you did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. And so that whatever you ask in my name, the Father will give you. This is my command, love each other. And I think what is so powerful about this section in Scripture, where it shows us is that Jesus does not view his disciples as mere students or servants. He considers them as friends. It says that you did not choose me, but I chose you. And this speaks of the value that Jesus not only saw in his disciples then, but sees in us as his children and his followers now. That we are not simply people who hear his word, intake it, and live by it, but we have an intimate, close friendship with him. He sees value in us that he would lay down his life and share his life with us. And see, Jesus' friendship with us is rooted in love. Jesus's friendship is not for selfish gain on his part. Jesus had nothing to gain from his friendship with the disciples. There was no part of this that Jesus was thinking, what could the disciples do for me? But his friendship, his kindness towards them was so that he could show them who God is. Jesus' friendship for us is rooted in love. And the love that we find in this friendship Christ has for us is the cause and effect of our faith, right? We love him because he first loved us. That in Jesus pouring out his life for us, we respond in love towards him. And that as we receive in abundance his love for us, we become channels of other peoples to the goodness of Jesus, that out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth might speak of the goodness of God. So as I close this reflection, I want to leave you with two characteristics that we find in this text of what Jesus' love is. First, we see that Jesus' love is sacrificial, that no greater love than this, that a man would lay down his life for his friends. See, Jesus didn't just speak his love for us, he showed it. Romans chapter 5 verse 8 testifies of this, saying Christ demonstrated his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. It was sacrificial. And secondly, we see that Jesus' love for us, his friendship towards us is intimate. Verse 15 reads this again, I no longer call you servants, because a servant does not know his master's business. Instead, I have called you friends. For everything that I learned from my father, I have made known to you. See, friendship in in the light of the Lamb invites us to know him as we are known. 
that he has made known to us the mystery of his will, that in knowing him, in joining Jesus in his suffering, in his life, we might also join him in his resurrection power. So this Easter, church family, be reminded of what a joy it is to be called a friend of God. Grace and peace to you.